We all know stock sucks. Today we're going to talk about how I found the best audio system for my Harley Davidson Street Glide Special based on what I wanted. You may not want the same things as me, but hopefully this video helps you on your journey to better audio. I've had my Street Glide for almost six years now. Within the first year, I knew the stock audio had to go. I don't know what was worse, the stock audio or the stock suspension. I guess for me it was the audio, because I waited several years before I upgraded the suspension. But I did finally get that done. And yes, I should have done it sooner. My mistake was that even before I had the bike a year, I thought, well, I could put in something better than the stock setup myself, but I couldn't afford to spend a lot, so I got an inexpensive brand name amp and some decent marine grade speakers. You know, not high end stuff, but I did spend about 400 bucks. Well, I installed it myself like an idiot that I am, and maybe I didn't get something right, but that system would get hot and the music would clip out. Maybe I tuned it wrong but it was only marginally better than the stock when it wasn't clipping, and I dropped 400 bucks. In 2019, we knew we were going to Sturgis, and I was not gonna be happy riding 700 miles a day listening to music that's cutting out all the time, and I knew that system was gonna be clipping in August heat. I started doing research on audio system. I know, I'm a big nerd. I can't help it. I tend to research stuff before spending my hard-earned cash on it. I think that is one of the reasons I like doing review videos like this. I hope my videos can help someone else make a good, informed decision before spending a wad of cash. I talked to my local independent motorcycle shop, and they had recently done a Sinister Sound System install for another customer, and they were really impressed with it. They shot me a price, and I decided it was better than me trying to figure out a setup on my own, blowing another wad of cash, and possibly still not being happy with the results. So that summer, we installed the Sinister two-speaker system in the fairing with the ARC Audio 600.4 amp. And I've had this system for over three years now, and it has worked perfectly, flawlessly, and I love it. It has absolutely been awesome, and I could hear it loud and clear rolling across South Dakota at 80 plus miles an hour with no problem. My buddies who don't have audio even want to ride behind me when we do big group rides so they can listen to my tunes while we're rolling down the highway. Now, three years later, the bike is paid off and I've decided to do some upgrades. I've always liked the look of the 2016 CVO Street Glide with the lowers. I didn't want to give up storage space in my saddlebags, so I decided I was going to get some lowers and add two more speakers from Sinister Sound in them. I got a set of lowers with speaker pods from TCMT Moto. By the way, they were only $110. I have a video about that as well. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below in case anybody's interested in those lowers. I reached out to Sinister Sound and we made an appointment to upgrade my system at the Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue Rally this year. I know you may be wondering why I need two more speakers if the system is so good and so awesome. Well, to be honest, it's because my buddy Nick got the four speaker system from Sinister Sound right after I got the two speaker system. And he's the only guy I know with a louder system than mine who didn't pay a small fortune for his audio and his sounds even better than mine. Four is better than two, if you can afford it, right? The day I got to the rally, I rolled into Pig Trail Harley Davidson around 12.30. My appointment was at two. I checked in with the guys at Sinister Sounds booth and made sure we were all set to go and I had my bike back at their booth by 1.45. This guy named Puddin did the install and was kind enough to let me film it. It didn't take him no time to get my additional speakers installed and he retuned the system. It's been over two weeks now and this system, as always, sounds amazingly clear at high volume. I was really impressed with how fast and efficient the crew was at getting the systems installed there at the rally. Those guys were working on four bikes at a time. I would recommend maybe making an appointment in advance if you do plan to have a system like this installed at a rally. By Thursday afternoon, they were booked up till late afternoon on Friday and things were just getting started. When they were done, I had a new level of loud. I feel like this system really sounds clear even when it's turned up really loud. Now it's hard to demonstrate on a video the sound clarity or volume of a premium audio system like this because the quality of the mic, the device that you're listening to the video on, and YouTube compressing the video 
impacts the quality of what you hear and see in all these YouTube videos. I think a good way to demonstrate how powerful this setup is, is showing you visually how far away you can be and still hear this system loud and clear. All right guys, I'm gonna ride up the driveway here about 250 feet. I have a uh, Rode micro, microphone on top of this thing with the dead cat on it. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear everything just fine. Again, 250 feet roughly, I've already paced it off. So uh, let's see how well you can hear the stereo from 250 feet away. I don't know how well that came out for you on your end, but I can tell you I am very happy with this system. And my friends were so impressed that two of them bought sinister setups and had them installed at the rally while we were there that weekend. Okay, let's get down to the almighty dollar. I'm not gonna leave that out, but how expensive is this setup? A new four speaker setup like mine is about $1,800 retail on their website currently. But that includes a new hotter version of the ARC Audio Amp than what I got three years ago. Now they have tons of options for different budgets. So if you don't want to spend this much, I would still recommend reaching out to these guys and seeing what options they have for you. And if you got to have that bass, got to have them woofers, well, don't worry. They got this setup called the crazy eights and they can hook you up and you'll get all that thump as well. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention, if you do have lowers like this and speakers in them from sensor sound and you run with highway pegs on there, the first time you put your feet out there, on those highway pegs with the audio turned up, don't freak out about that suddenly strange vibration you're feeling. That's just the audio thumping through the lowers and you can feel it in your feet riding down the highway. That was something I'd never experienced on a motorcycle before, but I've gotten used to it. But I have to admit, when I first felt that vibration, I thought something was wrong. Turned the stereo down so I could listen to the motor better and the vibration went away. And then I realized what it was. The one thing I have learned is when it comes to audio, I'm going to go to the experts from now on. One of my friends that got the sensor sound set up at the rally had wasted his time and his money with a local audio shop and he just wasn't getting the volume and clarity he wanted before he put in the sensor sound system. He is now another happy camper just like me. I hope this video helps you if you're looking for the best audio setup. 